Hello, and welcome to another video on laboratory techniques produced by the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, iGEM Team 2015. Today, we're going to be discussing centrifuges and how to properly operate one of these devices. A centrifuge is a machine with a rapidly rotating container that applies centrifugal force to its contents, typically for the purpose of separating elements of a solution by density or running a solution through a filter. You can currently see a solution being transferred from a centrifugal tube to a column wash tube construct. In this case, the centrifuge is being used to move the transferred solution through the column, resulting in the desired molecules bonding to the column. This allows for easy separation of solutions containing many complex molecules. Take careful note of how the wash tube column constructs are loaded in this portion of the video. Centrifuges must remain balanced as they spin, hence it's important that you are loading an equally massive tube on both sides of the centrifuge. Any discrepancies in the weight can result in the centrifuge becoming heavily damaged if not noticed quickly enough. Centrifuges also typically come with internal covers, as you see in the video. This is to ensure that no tube can inject from the center area and further damage the machine in case of emergency. Always make sure to shut the centrifuge completely before you start. After shutting the centrifuge, stay close to the machine and make sure you hear no irregular noises from it. If you do, please stop immediately to prevent damages to the machine. Before unloading a centrifuge, make sure the machine is stopped fully and remove the internal cover. Ensure that you are putting each tube in the correct position back on the rack. It is very easy to lose your sense of placement with a centrifuge. The best way to prevent this from happening is to label every part of your tubes. Usually there are signs that a centrifuge has finished spinning, such as the stop or zero seconds you see on the centrifuge monitor. Also take note of the lone tube lying away from the others with no visible solution. This is a tube meant solely to balance the centrifuge out, which can be required when working with an uneven number of solutions. Now that you understand how to properly use a centrifuge, you are one step closer to mastering the laboratory. Go forth and discover.